Ooh. Bro. I got one. Another one. Oh, I'm on, show I'm off. On. That is my go-to setup. Kids, do not try this at home. I'm a double winner. So on today's episode, we got a little bass fishing. We got some close calls with an alligator, a big old alligator. Monster Mike tried to get a little too close to the water and he came up on him. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoy the outdoors and fishing more specifically, and even travel and family stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe right now if you're not already subscribed to the channel because that's what this channel is about. And I'm always constantly encouraging people to go outdoors because I think that it's just therapeutic and it's just really something that everybody needs to have in their life is nature and outside elements. So if that's what you vibe to, you know what? I already told you what to do. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell right now, but enjoy the episode. We just had Father's Day pass, and like many dads out there, I got some Bass Pro stuff. I got this hat, and I got a $50 gift card, which means I only spent $200 when I went to Bass Pro. Just don't tell my wife. But I would say it was $200 well spent because there's a lot of things in here that I need. Yeah, I definitely need one of those. And I stacked up on some goodies that I know will help me catch some fish some new Cabela's. I got multiple cast king rods and reels at the house, so I got a bunch of different types of um, fishing line. I got the suffix, I've got the Power Pro, I've got some Beyond Braid, and I've got some cast king fishing line I'm gonna throw on them. Right now, I'm literally pulled over on the side of the road. And for those of you who've been following the channel, you know that each time I've gone over here, there has been a giant alligator just sitting right in that area. So I'm gonna see if there's a fish here. And uh, if that gator's still there, you know, him and I are gonna have some words. Today I'm using the Cast King MG12. This has kind of become my go-to combo. It's a very nice setup. I'm gonna swap one of these bad boys on here. This lure is good. This lure works really well, but this one's a little bit bigger, a little more of a smoky color. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one on here and uh, see if I can catch a fish. That is my go-to setup right there for most of my fishing here, unless I need to go weedless. This is good for South Florida, snook, tarpon, peacock bass, largemouth bass, Mayans. Pretty much any of the predatory fish down here will uh, hit these. And it's just a three, three and a half inch swim bait. You don't, there's not one specific uh, brand, but these, uh, it's gotta be about this shape and you'll definitely increase your hits. Now, this is just my personal opinion because of the way I like to fish. You can use rattle traps, you can use jerk baits, you can use different styles of uh, swim baits and stuff like that. But for me personally, these are my go-to because this is what I catch the most fish on. I catch more fish on these than I do using live bait in the fresh water. My favorites are the smoky shad color. Sometimes I use the pearl color. This one is a little bit darker on the top with some flake. So we'll see how it goes today. Hopefully I can catch some fish for you guys and not get eaten by an alligator. Let's just cast out here real quick. Sometimes it's a nice fish just sitting underneath. You know what? That gator is here. I can't believe he's here again. Yeah, let me switch the cameras and I'll zoom in on him. Right there. He didn't think I would see him, but... Oh, you guys see him right there, hiding underneath those branches. So that's the last three times I've been to this spot. That gator has been sitting there. So it's taking up residence and uh, he's making me have to go to a different location. So you know what? This is Miami. We got spots to pull over all over the place. If you know how to fish Miami the right way, you know that if you pull over on the side of the road, if you see water, you're good to go. Bust out a rod and start fishing. So these guys right here, you see how his feathers are all like stuck together and look wet? It's because he was diving in the water catching fish. They'll dive underneath and grab them to eat. But then they got to sit on these rocks and dry out so they can fly again. When I was a kid, I was in the Everglades and I actually saw one sitting on a branch 
and an alligator came and just crushed it. All you can hear was it crunching. It was crazy. It ate the branch, the bird, everything. So more of the story, <laughs> watch where you step when you're fishing. It was right about this time that Masha Mike hit me up and said, hey, yo, let's film something. Let's go fish. So I headed over and scooped him up. All right, so I got a $10 ticket here that I just found in the truck. It's been sitting on the floor for like two months. You gonna cash it? I'm gonna cash that in right now. See what we get. Wait for the Collada, bring that out, and uh, I'm going to go pump gas. All right, for sure. All right. Wait, I gotta pay for the rest of it. I didn't pay yet. Are you there? No. Can I go back? Oh my goodness. I never played this one before. Match two light symbols in the same game when the price for that shown. 10X, mm -hmm. so I guess both things have to be the same? Yep, probably. Nope, nope. 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 Nada. I, I never really played that type of ticket. Me neither. I mean, I've nope. seen it, but I never really played it. Nothing. I got one. Yeah? One. Oh my gosh, it one is it, it's just just not to be a loser is the goal. Yeah, We're not it a is ten dollars. Oh my gosh! Got ten dollars, so oh I got my money back. It's what? a bonus. What's this? Oh Reveal shit. a star symbol in the bonus spot and win the prize shown. You need to hit a coffee for that. Oh one. my gosh, dude! There is are a you, star. Are you freaking? I got a star. You're kidding me? No, I'm so, a winner. I'm a double winner. So ten dollars. Wait, my guy, we just doubled up. So we might as well title this: We won the Florida lottery. Yes, we won the Florida lottery. Payday bonus, baby. I'll stay here while you go get another ticket. I'm gonna let it sit in the truck for another few months. Oh yeah, I don't want to waste my luck right now. <laughs> <You can see. laughs> Yo, Mikey. Yeah. Can you swim over there and uh, get my lure out of the tree? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get it right now. Yeah, it's right by that log. All right. Mikey's coming. Uh oh. He's coming. Go back down there. Okay. okay. So is the lure like around there? Oh. Oh, come here. There oh, he. Oh, oh, I'm gonna pet him. I'm gonna come. Come on. Guys, don't blink. Let's see if he likes little humans. That boy is hungry. Kids, do not try this at home. You might want to get out there quick, Mike. 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 He's faster than you think. We got him. There Guys. That's a oh, big. Oh, look. Look, he's missing a hand. Big boy. He's missing an arm. A, a fingers. He is. He's missing a freaking. Let's see if we can put this on there. You see the nub? Nine's optics helping you see the nub, Mike. He can get you real fast. He ain't messing around. He's gonna sink down and come ambush you. He'll probably eat me. Brian, the CEO's fishing over there. And we got a gator. Pretty crazy. <laughs> My pliers, I dropped them here five days ago. And they're still here. And I won lotto today. And you won lotto today. And you don't think that I lost the pliers. I don't think you lost the pliers. I realized after that I had probably dropped them here, but I remember. That's dope. It's when I cast that fish. I cast the Livingston. I remember it's when I cast the Livingston lure, I dropped the pliers from my pocket here <laughs> and I hit a fish right off the drop. So that means not that much people probably fished this spot they would have saw your pliers unless they didn't care about these it, things are bright orange those are bright orange you but hey we should show them that clip let's show them it works just like that first cast nice fish nice fish right there gobbled it up the second it hit the water the second it hit the water he crushed it got got some Ooh. Bro. Got on, on. Breaking ice. Sorry, I didn't mean to slide you across the water, the grass, but uh, look at that. First right. fish of the day. Woo. While you got energy, I'm going to toss you back. How it, he was right outside of that drop because I was at the bottom. Let it drop? Yeah. What I like to do here is cast it far out and let it go down to the vegetation. So I wait like 
five, six seconds, and then I slowly work it back. And then when I feel like I'm hitting the ledge, I reel it faster to bring it up. So you, you did what I told you? I did what you told Oh, it just came oh, up. Oh, I saw you I, were on I, though. I saw you were on. I did what you told me. A hey, good hit on the bottom. Yeah? Yeah, they're right over that hey, drop, hey, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that was a hard hit. They're right on that drop. Just looking for little minnows, fry, tadpoles, insects. What do you see, my guy? Whoop. Got it. Dinner. Beautiful day here in Miami, Florida, guys. I mean, by beautiful, I mean, we're sweating our yeah. butts off. It's pretty hot out here, but we're enjoying life. You know, we have the beautiful crystal clear lake. It is Miami. a crystal clear lake. Can I make uh, a cast? Make a cast, Mike. Nice. Let it sink down. Can you break ice for the day? I'm trying. Get your first fish. Ooh, got him. Oh, no, you lost him. Still got to break ice. <laughs> it's getting personal. Brian caught already. I didn't catch anything. Man. Now I'm just catching a sunburn trying to wait for you to catch a fish. <laughs> nah, I got I got faith in you, Mike. Let's go. Today's the day of the birds. You see that turkey vulture, Mike? That looks so cool. He sees like some like some dead something on the ground. Yeah, he's I think he's going after that. It's crazy that they can be so far away and smell something that small from the sky. R.I.P. Duckling. Someone ran it over with a bike, probably. Oh, look, he was about to Ooh. joke it out. You saw that? You Let's saw see. the joke? Let's see. Let's see how big he is. You saw that joke? How big are you, my guy? Show us those wings. <laughs> I believe I can fly. There's a fish on the ledge? Yeah. Oh, bro. Bro. Oh. Yeah, bro. Oh, There's people walking by. Oh, you gotta on, show off. There it is. Come on. Come on. Team no skunk. Team, Team no, no skunk. skunk. At least I'm not skunk, guys. Peacock bass. Guys. We love them all. We love them all. You know, we got the epic gator. No, 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 no. We love them all. Oh, yeah. Big or small. There we go. Cheap water. Cheap water. It's wet. That's all that matters. And... Go for a strawberry, non-dairy muscle milk, 40 grams of protein. That's why I got the muscles. Ah, look at that, ah! Time for my midday snack. I gotta get my protein in. A lot of people, they assume I'm not that big of a guy, especially the ones that run their mouths. But when they meet me in person, they're always really nice for some reason. I'm not sure. Get your exercise, get outside. You know, I know I want you guys watching my videos on YouTube and stuff, but if I can inspire even more of you to go outside and be in the nature and get some sun and, and that vitamin D and, and just enjoy that fresh outdoor air, I'll sacrifice views on my channel just so that you guys can get outside and do something healthy for yourselves, you know? Not yet, when this video is done, you can go, but make sure you go, you know, enjoy the outdoors because you're missing, if you're not going outside enough, you're missing, you're missing a huge part of life. And there's people who aren't capable, aren't able to, through certain challenges, to get out on their own and get outside and do things. And I guarantee they wish they could be outside. So if you got two legs and you can walk and you can get up and go, I suggest you start doing it. Don't waste your life sitting in the house doing absolutely nothing. All right, there is so much trash in that corner. Wow. I think I see some largies, but I am not sure. Got one. Come on. There it is. Large mile. Little guy. Smack the lure pretty good. Let me put this back in the right way. See if oh he's tore me up. Hell, I can still get it. I can still work it. Boom. Let's go. Oh, oh, that was so close. He just came up on me. So I'm testing the debris field here.
Oh, I got one. Another one. Another one. This one's better, I think. Yeah, baby. Another one right there. Ooh. Another fish. That's two. Let me see if I can get some more use out of this lure. It's getting pretty torn up, but uh, who cares? As long as I'm catching fish. Go back out there. Are they starting to feed now? What's going on? Why am I starting to get hits? The reason I'm still fishing here is there is a larger, large mouth right down here and I just can't get him to hit. The one I want. I'm getting the other ones, just not the one that I actually want. Got a tree branch, tree branch, and I'm stuck, guys. So that's the end of the day for me. Oh, yep, pop my line. Got my tree branch. Dang. Well, that's what happens. There you have it. I caught a couple largemouth, literally parked. I'm in a Burger King parking lot, and I just walked like to the canal from, from the Burger King parking lot, right by the gas station where I got some fresh water and that protein shake. Winning on that. I've never actually fished that lake before, but I always drive by it and look at it. I'm like, well, it looks like there might be some bass in there. And you know what? I was right. There was some bass. You know, if you do like this content, if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe right now and turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss any of the upcoming episodes, you know, because I'm the CEO of Catch Everything Outdoors. And I want you to join the CEO family and be a part of what I'm doing, you know, and maybe one day I can even fish with you. So uh, let me know if you're down to fish. Because I'm looking for new people to fish with and new places to fish. But until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.